Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I post every day bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear today. Today is the 2nd, 2nd of December 2023. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.01 p.m. Okay Virgo, let's get a reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Important messages that Virgos need to hear today. And Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever who could be in your energy field. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Wow, wow, wow. For all these people. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six, six court cards on your spread. So Virgo, this makes me feel like, and there are one, two, three, three messengers here, three pages basically. Um, Virgo, people have been talking about you lately, okay, or currently. Um, they have been talking about you. I feel like the Queen of Swords, um, I do read the Queen of Swords as a Virgo, even though it's a Libra Gemini, Aquarius um, energy, but the Queen of Swords embodies a lot of Virgo's traits. So Virgo, I feel like somebody, like or a bunch of people have been talking about you, okay? Perhaps you spoke your truth, perhaps you have your boundaries that you didn't allow anybody to cross. And these people have been conversing in regards to what you have said, right? You've got one who's like maybe not too happy with what you've said, okay? And then you've got one with a page of wands here. It feels like in the middle of the spread, it feels like this person is just kind of like neutral, doesn't want to take sides. And then we've got the knight of wands here in our first, Page of Swords in my first, and you got another one, curious, wanting to know more, asking a lot of questions. Hmm. And the Nato ones in reverse, it feels a bit like Virgo, somebody could be talking about how, oh, maybe um, even though you spoke a truth, but then maybe you said it in a way where it could have caused some sort of a disharmony, okay? Because not once I'm over, it's like not very stable, so it makes me feel that way. And Virgo, this is your energy, Virgo, right? Hermit. But the hermit, you know, if it's the other people's energy, they may have been reflecting, or one person in particular, reflecting over what you have said, okay? Hmm. Knight of Wands here in my first. What I'm hearing is taking somebody's it's like took somebody off guard okay maybe something you have said it was just like a drop mic situation where they didn't expect you to say something like that right being so blonde so honest but you spoke your truth because the sword is in an upright position you're just saying the truth right facts swords indicates information facts intelligence as well somebody could be may unexpectedly you know something about like hey whatever you said made, made sense and you're and you're smart like something that they didn't they didn't expect in a sense where it feels more like i didn't expect that virgo would make sense out of the situation hope that I hope, <laughs> hope that resonates. I hope that makes sense to you, okay, Virgo. But you got these people just like, wait a minute, you know, what Virgo said. I never saw that. I never saw that. I never thought of that, right? Because Virgos do pay attention to details. You may have pointed out certain details that um, people weren't aware of, okay? Mm. Five of Cups in my first... So it's almost like something was like, it, it looks like the scenario, like people were just like focusing on one thing as in like 
that's what they think, like it's that obvious. But behind, you see this five of cups, this person, there are like two cups behind this person. So the things that they didn't see, that's actually the thing that makes more sense. Or attention to details, like you paid attention to details. Again, sword here can indicate some sort of details and information, right? So, and it could also be you, Virgo, just telling like somebody off, but kind of angry because the Nada Swords is angry, or it's this person being angry with you because you actually pointed something out that wasn't obvious to people, but when you said it, um, it became obvious. Okay. Hmm. It's like everything. These people didn't see these things. You pointed it out. You got it right. You made it obvious. So it could be embarrassing for somebody. Okay, Virgo, I hope that makes sense. And Page of Pentacles, you've got another person right here. I do see, like, there are people who could be on your side, okay? And But you also have a couple of people were upset with you but Virgo page of Pentacles indicates some good news okay someone saying something good to you or about you but also can indicate an offer okay this could be somebody reflecting over over the situation uh, trying to find some answers or trying to find words to say to you and they are not sure what to say because the page of sorts here is in reverse just by just basically keeping tabs or thinking of words the right words to say to you right because this person knows that Virgo you are intelligent right so they have to approach you in a way where it would make sense to you else you will cut them off because the queen of swords is very cutting and we've got the four swords here in reverse so this energy of like keep thinking what to say to Virgo, what, what should I say to Virgo, right? Um, King of Swords is also in my verse. These two cards the, with the Swords in my verse, it's almost like they're not clear what to say to you, how to say things to you so that, so that it will make sense to you or so that you will accept it because again, Virgo, the Queen of Swords is a very intelligent queen and you as a Virgo, you pay attention to details again and and it makes this person feel like kind of uneasy for sorts of verse. Like, I know if I say something and Virgo might catch me either telling lies or just, you know, because when sorts of lovers can get lies or that maybe Virgo would judge me for being not that smart, <laughs> okay? But if these court cards belong to one person, I feel like Virgo, there could be somebody here just really, I would say they're passionate about you because the Page of Wands is here. I like to, because the Page of Wands is a fire energy, so this person could be a, um, an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, can be any sign, okay? But I feel like this person is interested in you. Um, and the Knight of Swords here, it's like it's I don't know why Virgo. It feels like this person likes you, is passionate about you, but could also be a little bit frustrated by you or a little bit upset by you. Okay. For some reason, now the Queen of Swords is somebody who sets her boundaries, um, doesn't let anybody treat her however they like. You know, you draw your lines, you have your boundaries again, and um, you don't, you don't. You don't deal with any sorts of BS. Um, sorry, Virgo. I, did you hear the thunder? <laughs> thunder, Virgo. Oh my gosh. You know the song, the song Thunder? I, I actually want to check. And if the Queen of Swords seems thunderous. Look at her. Because that sword, it kind of looks like, you know, Sword is a weapon, so can thunder be? Because thunder provides uh, lightning and lightning might strike. Kind of reminded me of the tower. So 
Virgo, you could be thunderous, right? Someone is scared uh, or people around you are afraid of you because, again, you speak the truth and you have no qualms in uh, saying it out loud or that you have no qualms in cutting them off. You have no qualms in setting these people straight, right? It's almost like, I don't care. As long as I speak the truth, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if somebody judges me. If people judge me, now I want to Google the song Thunder. <laughs> Thunder song. The, the song is by Imagine Dragons. Okay. <laughs> so it says here, just a young gun with a quick fuse. So maybe Virgo, maybe recently you had a quick fuse or watch out for you... Having a quick fuse, if this is not happening, hasn't happened yet, it could be Spirit's way of saying, hey, watch out for your quick fuse. Like, basically, um, just telling people off. <laughs> okay. Um, that's just for some of you. Some of you, maybe this has already happened, right? It says, just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was uptight, want to let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and want to leave my own life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follower. So Virgo, you are not a follower. For sure. Queen of Swords right here. You don't fit in the box. You don't fit in the mold. Um, I was lightning before the thunder. So it's almost like a warning, right, Virgo? You may have warned somebody, hey. Or through your actions, you, you have this energy where you're like kind of warning these people, hey, don't. Don't you dare treat me however you want to treat me, Virgo. Um, because you will call them out, right? So I feel like someone could be feeling either upset with you because you gave that sort of a warning, whether it's directly, indirectly, through your actions or through your words. So it says here, thunder, 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 thunder. Thunder, feel the thunder. Somebody has felt your thunder or will be feeling your thunder, okay? Lightning, then the thunder. And you know, the thing is, Virgo, some people will look up to you and respect you for being who you are, but there are also people who might get upset with you for just speaking the truth, right? So kids were laughing in my classes while I was scheming for the masses. Who do you think you are dreaming about being a big star? They say you're basic. They say you're easy. Um, you're always riding in the back seat. Now I'm smiling from the stage while, while you were clapping in the nosebleeds. That means Virgo. Some of you may have proven some people wrong, right? Queen of Swords. You have proven some people wrong. Some admire you for that. Some is upset with you because of that. You've proven them wrong. Um, you have achieved a lot in your life where I feel like um, some people resent you for it, right? So you prove to somebody something, okay? Or a group of people. Again, again there are so many court cards here. So you're affecting a lot of people's perception or life because you showed them something, you proved to them something, okay? <laughs> so the rest just says thunder, feel the thunder, so Virgo, you know, somebody might feel your thunder, meaning feeling your wrath. Um, you are just like a lightning thunder, and or, or also you can avoid like the sound of the thunder. You, you, you will see the lightning, right? It's is obvious so your success could be very obvious you've made some noise um you have made you've made some progress strides in your life where it's gaining uh, a lot of attention okay Virgo, let's see let's see let's see just a little bit more okay And Virgo, it could also be just somebody feeling rejected by you, right? Ace of Cups is right here. It's in my first. Somebody feeling rejected by you. Don't know what to say to you. They, they know that 
they need to be careful with what they say to you, okay? And this person can be anybody. Some of you, this could be somebody you are romantically connected to or just could be friends, people you work with. And we've got these six of wands right here. See? I'm not even surprised that the six of wands is here. You're, you're getting a lot of recognition, a lot of attention. And you've proved a lot of people wrong or will be Virgo, okay? If that's not happening right now, it could be a prediction of what's to come that you're going to prove to everybody that you, everything that they thought you couldn't do uh, when they thought that you were weird or if you were a failure, that as though, I don't know, it could be anything, right? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying whatever people thought that you wouldn't do well or that, if they thought they could walk all over you, or if they thought you were not good enough, or they thought you wouldn't achieve what you said you were going to achieve, you're going to prove them all wrong, six of ones. And you know what? Even if they try to ignore it, as in ignore your success, they can't because you're making too much noise. Right? Or too many people talk about you, all the pages here. Even if they want to escape, even if they want to run away from hearing things about you or people complimenting you, congratulating you, I feel like, again, they just can't, they can't, they can't escape. <laughs> they can't deny. They can't ignore your success, okay? Seven of Cups here is in one first. Now, Seven of Cups, there are many, many options, right? There are Seven Cups here. With it being one first, that means you're being chosen for something. You set yourself apart from everyone else. Your success or the way you lead your life is very different from everyone else. And a lot of people admire that about you, Six of Wands. And Virgo, if you feel down right now, if you don't feel like you are a success, you feel like a failure for those of you, Virgos. Yeah, not for those the other group of Virgos where you're already like where you're at in life and you already can see that you're successful and people are noticing that. But for those of you, if you still feel really low as though you, um, you're not there yet, maybe this is what's to come. This could also be the, uh, your prediction. And also another thing is Virgo. It's basically saying to stay true to yourself, right? Queen of Swords right here and the Hermit is a Virgo. Stay true to yourself. Um, whoever you are. And the Queen of Swords is definitely not somebody who is a people pleaser. And this is why people admire you, right? People could be admiring your intelligence. Again, that you speak the truth. You are not afraid or unafraid to be yourself. Some people resent you for that. Some people are upset with you because of that. But I feel like most people look up to you. Most people respect you or will in the future, okay? Let's pull out a bit more here. Knight of Cups. Empress in one first, the world. You no longer are going to be a doormat. You know, <laughs> the only reason why I use that word doormat is because um, this is the empress, right? Sometimes, empress is a mother. Sometimes we take, a lot of people take their parents for granted, right? Um, because they know that, oh, my mom is always going to be there no matter what. Um, my mom is going to understand me. Um, because, and my mom won't do anything because she's my mom. I'm her child. That kind of energy. And with it being reversed, it feels like that, you know. The children who would walk all over their parents or their mother. Um, but I feel like, Virgo, this could just be you not wanting to let people to walk all over you anymore. And you show them, you evolve. It, it's in, to me, it's you evolving because the Empress is in my first. You evolving to becoming the Queen of Swords. That means you like you set yourself, you set everybody straight that, okay, you no longer can treat me however you like, okay? Because I know better now. I know that, you know, however I was before, you may have looked at me as though I'm, a, I'm somebody you can walk all over. So now, for a go, again, or this could be someone you're romantically connected to, right? With the Knight of uh, Cups here. This person may just love you. It's a very weird way, but it's, it's, a, it's a very weird thing. It's almost like, I love you even more now that you're not 
giving as much, that you're not nurturing as much, and that you set your boundaries. I actually like you even more. So there is a change of perception in regards to you with the world right here. That means the world is a closing of an old chapter and a new chapter begins. So that means this is like a new you, right, Virgo? A new you who is not a doorman, who is somebody who would not allow anybody to walk all over. And you may have rejected this person, right? Ace of Cups and Mumpers. And the more you do that, the Six of Wands, this person wants you even more. They want your attention even more. Page of Pentacles. So they feel like they need to do a bit more and offer you like something more substantial. And then the Four of Swords here in reverse. And you can't, this person can't stop thinking about you because now they're trying to figure out what should I do with Virgo? What should I say to Virgo? Because now I need to step up, right? I need to step up. And the King of Swords here in one verse, see, again, they just don't know what to say. Maybe this was somebody who was not very sure about you. Not at once in one verse, wasn't consistent. Okay, you may have turned your back on this person, three of wands. That makes this person wants you, again, even more, wants your attention. And with the page of wands here, feels more passionate about you. And then the hermit here, Virgo, maybe you have put yourself in a hermit mode. You have started to isolate yourself from this person or perhaps, you know, you haven't talked that much, talked as much to this person. You're not really doing much with this person. And the page of swords and love first. Now they want to find out even more about you. It's almost like you could be that the more, the more inaccessible a person is, the more they want access to it, right, Virgo? And the Knight of Swords, for some reason, Virgo, there's a sense of, the, uh, there's a sense of urgency because the Knight of Wands, uh, sorry, the Knight of Swords is somebody who wants something, who wants to do something really, really fast, okay? Could be angry as well, the Knight of Swords. Either they're angry with themselves or they're angry with the situation, feeling really frustrated that they can't access, they have no access towards you, okay? Or again, this could be them, I really, really want something with Virgo. Oh, I want to hear from Virgo right now. I wish we could do something right now. But there is a bit of a delay here because I feel like Virgo with the Hermit here, perhaps you're a little bit closed off or very closed off. Um, you have retrieved into being a Hermit. Before that, maybe you were just giving and giving and giving, right? The Empress here. Just like being so nice so nurturing, so caring, all of that. And some people might see it as like when you're too nice, too kind, um, too accommodating. Some people might see that as a weakness. I think at one point in time, maybe this person did see that as a weakness. But now that you stop doing that, uh, they see it as a strength instead. And they have way more respect for you because of that. Now Virgo, this also could be a message for some of you. If somebody has been taking you for granted, it's time to, to isolate yourself. It's time to put yourself in this hermit mode so that you can uh, gain some respect from this person. Uh, something that is too easily, uh, something that's easy to access, I think, or something that is free, especially if you, you are rewarding somebody, you're giving something to somebody for free um, without them even working hard for it. They wouldn't they wouldn't appreciate it, okay? Now, five of cups here is in love first. Somebody, somebody, somebody's perception towards you has turned from um, maybe a bit negative to, pos to more positives, okay? Hmm. Virgo, do you want to see more? <laughs> Let's pull out some of the romance angels here. Let's see just a little bit more. Uh, it says, love yourself first. So some of you, Virgo, you need to love yourself first. Love yourself more instead of constantly giving, giving and giving. Um, again, Virgo, you're giving, some of you are giving or were giving to somebody or a situation uh, too much, okay? And some people might see it as you hovering over, the, over them or as, like I always, like I always said, Anything too much is not good. So Empress can be a bit too much, okay? Especially when it's in Empress. Just giving too much. Um, let's see more. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh. 
part to our conversation. So for example, somebody wants to talk to you, okay? See, attraction. This person is very attracted to you because either also because you know, six of wands, you're successful, you're beautiful, you're attractive, you're intelligent, but also you are less nurturing towards this person now than before, okay? Love yourself first again. We've got the, this could be the one. So this person might think that, hey, Virgo could actually be the one for me. Or, you know, contemplating with the being the hermit here, contemplating, uh, wondering if you could actually be the one for them, okay? We've got express your love. Somebody wants to express something to you and retreat. Somebody wants to go on a honeymoon with you or... Uh, go away with you, right? Do something with you, just the two of you. It doesn't matter where you guys go, but it's it feels very exclusive. This retreat here, as you can see, there are only two people right here having like really loving, peaceful moments. So I feel like Virgo, somebody may want to catch you alone, um, want to spend time alone with you, like good quality, good quality time with you. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This just actually reminded me of like an offer. It was just yesterday, actually. Somebody asked if if he could if he could take me to go to a beach somewhere. <laughs> I'm just giving an example. Actually, this happened. Yeah, this was yesterday. But in general, Virgo, um, I do feel like there's somebody who's interested to spend alone time with you, okay? Whether it's alone in a house or alone um, on a vacation, just the, the two of you, it just feels like a, a quality time. Somebody wants to spend this quality time with you. And then it's Virgo. Uh, it could also be spiritual saying, hey, try and spend quality time like face to face, one on one with that one person so that you can get to know that person better. OK, and that's just for some of you, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape or form. If you did, please hit like, share and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. I do go live on my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot, if you want to catch me live. Um, usually during my live stream, I will chit chat. Sometimes I will do collective reading, but also sometimes uh, it's not. This is not sometimes. This is each and every time I'll do personal readings during the live stream. But uh, one question per super chat is not free. Okay, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again sooner than later. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.